It's a clear but unusually windy day in Charlotte, North Carolina, as we await the start of Billy Graham's funeral service. And many are calling this his final crusade. During some of our most tumultuous times, we listened to him preach a message of hope. He used radio, he used television, and later years, even the internet. Mm -hmm. And he was always a step ahead of everyone else, but always getting back to that, that message. When I saw who was calling that early in the morning, just like um, a brick hit you. When Billy Graham died, the world took notice. Reverend Billy Graham shared the gospel with more people face to face than anyone else in history. God used his death to reach tens of millions of people around the world. I'm only a messenger to proclaim a message that I believe has within it the power to change lives. He was an evangelist. He was called to preach the gospel. God says from the cross, I love you. But in spite of his effectiveness, he still faced challenges delivering the message. He was criticized by many, many people. The press were gunning for him. Have you plans to engage in public debate with unbelievers? People don't understand the stress he was under. In spite of our sin, God said, I love you. But through it all, he was driven to take the message of the gospel to the world. I want mercy. I want forgiveness. And that's what God offers me from the cross. Even when age brought unwelcome changes and challenges to Billy Graham, he still wanted to share the message he had preached for decades. The man we recognize today, Reverend Billy Graham, shared the gospel with more people face to face than anyone else in history. We give thanks to God for the life and the works of this humble servant. When our country was on its knees, he reminded us that is exactly when we find our grace and our strength. All over the world, Reverend Graham shared the power of God's word with more than 200 million people. Today we honor him as only three private citizens before him have been so honored. You know, as I was watching on television the ceremony in the rotunda, I was reminded of something nobody else has mentioned. I was there sitting in that rotunda with him when he received the Congressional Gold Medal. And now if you would join me in welcoming our recipient, the man who honors us by being here today, Reverend Billy Graham. Ruth and I are absolutely overwhelmed by the very kind words that have been spoken here today, and especially by the high He honor. stood right in that place where his body lay in repose and gave the gospel. We must respond to God, who is offering us forgiveness, mercy. I remember thinking all these powerful people were there, but he gave the message he always gave. Death is the one common reality of all human life. We're all going to die. I've walked through this building a number of times. I've seen these statues of the great Americans in Statuary Hall. And they have one thing in common. They're all dead. And one day, you will join them. Are you ready for that day? Are you ready? The days following Billy Graham's death produced historic images and rare moments. Even political correctness 
gave way to talking about God and the gospel throughout the media. He never kept corners on the gospel. He was never embarrassed about the message that people can find forgiveness through the grace of God, through the good news of Jesus but Christ. It's so interesting to think of him in those Everything historical stopped. terms. And they watched this man, they listened to this man talk about Jesus in the most tumultuous times. Jesus of Nazareth was born, that he lived, that he died, that he's our savior, that he's our redeemer. And that's very uncomfortable for a lot of people to talk about. Everybody that dies in Christ goes immediately into the arms of Christ for eternity. That is the hope of the Christian faith. And it gives you the peace that passes all understanding. And if we don't have, if we've ever needed peace in this world, we need it now. Every single report, every single broadcast, you are hearing the Bible mentioned. You are hearing about Jesus. It's like his message is living on through us and through our words. Somebody says to me, why are you so bold about your faith? And I said, you know what? If you had the cure for cancer, would you keep it quiet? Or would you hold it and keep it a secret? And I always say, I have the cure for the malignancy of the soul. And he has a name, and it's Jesus. Gospel means good news. It's good news. And I'm not talking about a religion, I'm talking about a relationship with the living God. We are here to celebrate and honor the life of Billy Graham. When we talk about Billy Graham in the Middle East, we describe him like this. He was a humble man, and his greatness really is from his humility. He said, Sammy, don't talk about yourself. Talk about Jesus. Lift him up, and when we lift Jesus up, he will draw all men to himself. On behalf of the millions of international Christians around the world, I join all of them to say thank you. Thank you for your bringing salvation message to our part of the world. Viewed by millions through multiple media outlets, Billy Graham's funeral was broadcast live from Charlotte, North Carolina. Millions today are searching for the way. Its reach extended to international audiences in over 100 countries. Billy wouldn't want it any other way. If you're going to throw a funeral for me, make sure there's an altar call. Today, the whole world got to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's pretty awesome. Mr. Graham made certain that even in his death, it would be all about Jesus. I kind of look at that last week as his last crusade, where he was able not to just to touch a city, but they're ready to touch the world one more time. People are lost without Christ. That ought to give us a new urgency. The greatest act of love we can ever perform for another person is to tell him about God's love for him in Christ. Whatever it takes to communicate the truth of God's love, that's what we're gonna do, and we're not gonna back up. One message, Christ and Him crucified and risen again.